And of course, in 2006, 2007, you got a chance to collaborate with a gentleman by the name of Greg Garcia. You were, you know, doing the writing and producing. And, and of course, he's the creator of the show. Uh, My name is Earl. And I will say this for me. Um, a true testament. I remember being younger and just stuff just coming on TV. And if it's an environment that I'm not used to, but it can bring me in, it's just like writers are the like. I feel like you guys are somewhat those announcers on the radio. Like you have to build a scene. It has to make me feel like, even though I don't live there, I feel like this is exactly what's happening. It's not a bias thing. Like if I walk to this place right now, this is exactly happening. So I wanted to know what was it like for you to write on that show? Where did you draw your influence from? And also, of course. Um, Garcia is so underrated in what he's done and people don't know about, of course, Raising Hope. They, we talk about that. He has such a u- unique approach to comedy. What was it like working with him in that whole process? It was good. I, I think it was honestly for me. My name is Earl was probably the, the most strain I've had on a staff between me and Greg and, and the other people. But Greg is a genius. He's a smart guy. He's a funny guy. Um, he's really loyal. And what happened on that show was he, he had some people that he had brought over from his previous show, Yes Gear, um, that had uh, a different sensibility. That, that, and so when I went into My Name is Earl, I went in uh, with my friend Barbie Adler, who was a, a writer on Arrested Development with me, with the idea that that would be another Arrested Development that would have that edge. And I think it did, but there was a... a an element in the room of people that didn't want that, that wanted the the more the, the kind of yes gear. Like it just, people that I didn't see as uh, the same tone of comedy. So I think there was always a little bit of this, you know? So I think after two years, I left My Name is Earl because of that. But it was never Greg. Greg wasn't in the room that much. Greg was off, you know, when you do a single camera like that, you the showrunner is often on set all the time. Um, so Greg was on the set and the, Greg wasn't running the the room where we cranked out the scripts. He would just kind of send back things circled and say, you know, beat this or change this. Uh, but he's great. He's great. And I still see him often uh, at different things. He's a big survivor on CBS, big survivor fan like I am. <laughs> so we always see each other at the survivor finale. He's like, Hey, um, but he's a genius. He truly is. He, he's just uh, he's just a genius, smart, funny guy that, that I think you're going to see a lot more out of. He, he's he's like me where he always has several things going at once and in development. So, yeah, my yeah. name is Earl is one of the first shows I remember watching where I felt like I was watching a movie every week. Like it came with that kind of production quality, yeah. the, the single camera. the mm-hmm. uh, And I think uh, what you're saying about the people on the team that wanted it to be that wanted to kind of take the edge off of it i can definitely see that in the show because there was this there was this tone kind shift. of not, not really a tone shift but they but there was there what they'd had its edgy moments where you could tell that the writers that were fighting for that one that that bet and then there's the, the, the yeah uh but i think it worked for that show because it, it had a very it's very positive feeling um while still being edgy at times and be like, what the hell? I can't believe they just did that on television. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's the trailer.